Hi, this is Paul Kotolowski from CAMS, and today I want to show you how to save often used features in the design library. I'm going to create a cut pattern, in this case used to vent an oil reservoir, and to save time and more importantly accuracy, I'm going to save that cut in a folder in the design library. So first I'm going to open up the design library, and you see many different folders in here. The same technique, click on the folder, type in the name of the folder that you want to create. In this case it's going to be Paul's Special Stuff. Just like that. And even in there I can put a folder underneath that one. In this case I'm going to put one called Cuts. Okay so my folder structure is already set up if you need that. In this case I'm going to take a piece of material, doesn't matter what kind, and I'm going to create my cut pattern. This is going to be pretty much a sacrificial piece of material. It doesn't need to have a specific dimension. What is most important is the whole pattern that I'm putting in here. That's the part that I want to save. That's going to be the, the particular feature, in this case a cut feature, that I'm going to repeatedly use again and again. And I want to maintain this for accuracy. So I'm going to do it one time very well. And after that, it's just a matter of drag and drop. So there's my first cut. Now I'm going to put a little bolt circle around this. And you're going to do this for whatever the particular feature is going to be. want to make that a bolt circle and on there I need to put a hole dimensioning the hole and again this is going to be a through cut now it's important that these cuts be through all because I have no idea what size material I'm going to be putting this particular pattern in. It could be thin gauge sheet metal, it could be thick plate like you see here, but it really won't matter if that hole is through all. Okay, so there's my hole pattern. Again, this is used throughout my company and oftentimes and so I'm going to put it here in this new folder that I created and I'm going to add it to the library not a file location but I'm going to add it to the library as that particular icon says it's going to go into that folder SolidWorks provides the design tree for me I'm going to add these three items that make up that particular cut pattern and I'm going to call it 1.5 inch vent and it's a library feature part SolidWorks is saving it as a library feature part now my sacrificial part is pretty much done I don't need this anymore but I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna open this particular feature up from my cut pattern the entire feature as it's saved here now you see I can go back in here and edit any one of these features and make any final changes that I wish to. In this case I don't. But I now have two folders up here that will allow me to sort all the dimensions related to this particular item, to this particular feature, into locating dimensions or internal dimensions. That's an internal one. That's a locator. Okay, locating the entire pattern. That's what's important, and that's what I'm sorting out, and that is what's going to be saved. So then when I go to use this any other time in the future, SolidWorks is going to come back and ask me for those locating dimensions as my new model would require it. Okay, my folders are filled with the proper dimensions. 
and I'm just going to resave this. Now, let's bring out a new part and pretend that I'm going to be putting this whole pattern into a larger piece of material. Again, thickness doesn't matter. I'm going to go back to my design library, go to that particular cuts folder. Now when I left click on it, what comes out is just the pattern. And SolidWorks is going to say, hey, where are these locating dimensions referenced from? Where's this edge on your part? Where's this edge on your part? And it drops it in place. Now you can edit those right here in the property manager X and Y modify the locating dimensions green check and it's done. Let's try this again with something a little bit different. This is going to be an oil reservoir so I'm going to go put this into well let's see I've got some sheet metal parts in here I've got a cover I'm going to open up my cover bring my cuts once again reach over and grab it now that was done initially on a half inch thick plate this is this is just 16 gauge but it's just looking for the X and the Y for the locating dimensions I place those in my cut is done use that technique to save and create features and use them over and over again without fear of changing and messing up the dimensions.